Hey everybody, DJ Lou here, and I've had a lot of questions about Matrix and what is it, how I use it in my digital mixer, how it differs between auxiliary and what Matrix is. So let's do a little bit of deep dive here. Now here's a glimpse of my Toad. Of course, I have my iPad, which controls everything from my Soundcraft. I, of course, have my mics, and I have my outs going. Now, on the Soundcraft, and this is upside down, watch my other video why I have this upside down. But these two are my normal master outs. Everything else beyond here is my auxiliary outs. Now I use one dedicated. Uh, this is actually auxiliary eight for my in-ear monitor. So it's always there, it's always together. But I have learned over the years that I can have more finite control by dedicating my aux one and aux two to my mains that I'm using. Now here is why. All right, so I'm playing some music now on the internal player. It's one of the beauties of the Soundcraft. And I have control over my video out. So this is what I hang off to the videographers for a backup of the audio. I have my in-ear monitors and I have my main outs. Now these are actually, at least the main outs are done in a pair. So is my mixer and so is the player. So I only have one um, control over this but it is done in stereo now what the advantage of this is I can finitely control my in-ear monitors or my mains now because I'm running this in a uh, my master not being part of the actual outs going to my speakers if I control my master this is everything this is my audio going to the videographers, my in-ear monitor, and my mains. So as I bring this up, and I'll normally bring this right to zero dB, I know I have a nice clean record out going to wherever I need, it's always at zero dB going out. And then anything that I'm controlling for individual outputs is now under finite control. All right, let's talk if we went auxiliary on this. So I have auxiliary three now going to my in-ear monitor and my master is going to my uh, Evolve 50s. So what's the problem that we have right now? I've got, of course, my auxiliary three up and I've got my master all the way up. I've got my player way down. It's because now auxiliary is not tied to my main strip. So now I have to individually control each one of these channels. So I'd have to go into auxiliary, I'd go in auxiliary three. I'd bring the player up as much as I would want to in that. But let's say now that I want to do mics and everything. Well, if I'm doing mics on this and I have my mic way up for this, but it's not mapped over to my auxiliary, now I have to, again, have to go into auxiliary, go into the handheld, bring that up as much as I want as well. So I'd have to basically double my work just to go through that. And that would be the true also if I was doing my video outs, I would have to individually contour each of those every single time that I wanted. So I hope that video wasn't too in the weeds and all that. It's a little hard sometimes explaining it, but to simplify things, Matrix is basically, it just enables simplification of things. Everything remains on that one strip. So that way you have more finite control of things and being able to put my masters on auxiliary means I have more finite control over between my video out, my IEMs and my master. Definitely gives me just a, a, a bit more breathing room. I've had the UI 16 for a number of years, did not have matrix. I was able, of course, to survive. There are things like global uh, mute that allows you to basically make good use of things, but definitely there's a step up when talking about the UI 24. But again, I hope this was very informative. Stay tuned for more videos.